We all want to be rich, right? Who wouldn't want to take their dream vacations any time of the year? Or own a couple of mansions in the most exotic locations in the world? Being able to control your money and not have your money control you is everyone's dream. Today, we share with you a couple of rules that will make you a millionaire. These rules are real and will work. Why do we know this? It's because this advice came from different millionaires from all over the world, so we're not making them up. Make sure you watch until the end if you really want to join the Millionaires Club. Right before we begin, are you subscribed to our channel? If not, what are you waiting for? We have educative content every other day. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification right away so you don't miss out. Now, let's begin, shall we? 10. Never live beyond your means Shark Tank star and millionaire investor Mark Cuban swears by this rule. Almost every time he's asked to give out advice on how to get rich, he shares with his audience the importance of living within your means. He says never spend what you can't afford, even if it means living like a student. And he makes so much sense. Let's look at it this way. If you earn $1,500 a month and your monthly expenses amount to $1,800 a month, you'll be losing about $300 a month. Since this $300 isn't coming from your paycheck, it's definitely being financed by your bank via your credit card. You'll be losing $3,600 yearly. In 10 years, if you don't change your ways, you'll end up with thousands of dollars in debt. Now, let's say you take Mark Cuban's advice. If you earn $1,500 and only spend $1,200 a month, you'll have $300 every month at your disposal. In 10 years, if you invest the money wisely, there is no way you won't be rich. 9. Have enough saved up to pay bills So many people will give you advice on how to get rich. In fact, let's not even go far. I bet you can see a couple of other money-making video suggestions made by other YouTubers right now. It's okay to listen, but don't take it as holy grail. The best advice comes from people who have been there. They say learn from people's mistakes so you don't make your own. Who better to talk about money than Bethany Franklin? She was broke with about $200,000 in credit card debt before she started the Skinny Girl Empire. The Real Housewives star is ever so passionate about advising people on money matters. You will constantly find her telling people to save enough money that can cover your bills in case of an emergency. She also says that before you take a loan or buy anything with your credit card, make sure you have a similar amount of money saved up somewhere or stashed away in an investment. And I think this advice is gold. 8. Cut out impulse purchases completely With a net worth of $20 million, Sarah Michelle Gellar must have some great money tips to share with the rest of us peasants. With all that money, believe it or not, she never buys anything on impulse. She even says she can stare at a jacket in a store she really wants for days before making a purchase. We're not telling you to do exactly what she does, but create some limits and build that discipline muscle. Just because you like something or want it, it doesn't mean you need it. Let's be honest, how many times have we bought things on impulse, then end up never using them? Just take a look at your house and you'll probably find lots of products that you never really use. 7. Invest in what you know Actor, venture capitalist, and entrepreneur Ashton Kutcher advises people to only invest in what they're familiar with. He says he's made most of his $200 million net worth by only putting his money in industries he's familiar with. For instance, if you love wine and drink it all the time, and you often go to wine events, and you can easily differentiate between premium and cheap wine, and let's say you also know a lot about the wine industry or could learn, then investing in wine is something you should do. Also, if you want to start a business, start one whose operations you're familiar with. For example, if you've worked as a banker for 10 years, you can start your own personal finance consultancy business. If you've worked as a marketer in an e-commerce store, then you must understand the lingo of the industry and can comfortably start up your own agency. Only put your money, time, and effort into what you're familiar with. 6. Use public transportation and ride-sharing services You wouldn't expect a millionaire worth $400 million to use Lyft or Uber, right? Well, Kevin O'Leary does, and he swears by this rule. He believes buying or leasing a car is a waste of money. He says cars are heavy investments and calls them money-thirsty vampires that will suck money out of your account. When you look at the maintenance, insurance, and parking costs, it all makes sense. To make it even worse, they don't appreciate in value. Well, unless you have a rare vintage masterpiece. Mr. Wonderful sure does practice what he preaches. When his last lease ended, he returned his car back to the dealership and didn't leave with a new one. Now that's a boss move. 5. Invest wisely Sounds obvious, right? But is it? Do you know where to invest your savings to get decent returns? Well, Tony Robbins, who has amassed a wealth of $500 million, sure does. The New York Times best-selling author says compound interest is perhaps the most powerful tool in your investment arsenal. He's made a lot of money selling books in his shows and talks, but most of his wealth comes from his investment decisions. 
He further recommends putting aside part of your income, however little, into an interest-earning investment. Some of the options he suggests include high-yield savings accounts, index funds, or even stocks. You can search for the options that have the highest interest rate return and stash your money there. Never doubt the power of compound interest. 4. Get a job you love This piece of advice came from the one and only Oprah Winfrey. She doesn't need any introduction. We all know she's loaded, and she's not just rich, but wealthy. Plus, she's also adored by all. On her website, she gives loads of advice on different topics, including money. She attributes her massive fortune to choosing the right career path. Before working in a radio station, she was a babysitter and a store employee. When she got her dream job, it stopped being about how much money she can make, but how she can be better in her career. She had a weekly salary of $100 at the age of 17, from a radio show, but she said she would have been comfortable without being paid, as she loved it so much. I bet you're wondering how this will make you a millionaire. Well, if you love your job, you'll strive to be the best in it, and people will notice you. This will create room for more opportunities, which could end up turning your career path into a massive business, as in Oprah's case. 3. Saving I know by now you've learnt a lot about millionaires and how they handle their wealth. Just because you have a lot of money doesn't mean you have to splurge it everywhere. Sue Zorman, an author, financial advisor, motivational speaker, and TV host, stands by saving as much money as possible. She wants everyone to get as much pleasure out of saving as you do from spending. This outstanding woman with a self-made net worth of $35 million believes the secret to saving more is to shift your mentality, from saving being a downer to a great feeling. Orman says that despite being seriously rich, she enjoys saving money by using coupons. Instead of thinking, when can I start enjoying my saved money, ask yourself when do I start enjoying the saving process. If you build that muscle, then you'll end up not caring about saving money anymore. 2. Ask for help Spike Lee says never be afraid to ask for money for your project or business. The American film producer, writer, Oscar-nominated director, and author worth $40 million says asking for financial help should never be a shameful thing. If you're truly passionate about an idea but don't have the money to fund it, just ask your friends, family, or even pitch it to strangers. If it's worked for Spike Lee, it'll probably work for you too. He says he's never afraid to ask for money to fund movies he believes in. He also says never be deterred when someone tells you no, as it only takes one yes to take you to the next level. 1. Invest long term Of course, we can't talk about how to become a millionaire without mentioning Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world today. He's currently the third richest man according to Forbes. The most fascinating fact about him is he is 100% self-made. The billionaire investor, who is worth $82 billion, with a B, believes investments should be long-term. He isn't a proponent of active short-term stock trading. He says the best way to build real wealth is to own portions of outstanding businesses with great management systems. He gave this advice back in 1988, and since then he has stuck to it. He believes instead of hurrying to sell and make that quick buck, be patient, and you will make real profit with companies that perform well in the long term. His advice is great because it's easy to replicate and doesn't need specialized skills and short-term trading needs. Anyone can buy stock of any company and monitor the price changes. Today, this can be done easily on your mobile phone using apps. Opportunities are endless. If you follow the advice here, you will become a millionaire. All these are wise words from the best in the world. Before we end the video, we have one more tip that will certainly lead you on the right path to making millions. Know where your money goes. If you're one of those people who don't understand where your money went right after receiving a paycheck, then pay attention. You need to start making budgets, cutting your costs by identifying the cheaper alternatives, and start being disciplined. Even if you'll have to create separate accounts to handle bills and concurrent expenses, start today. Once you have a budget for all of your expenses, make sure you set aside some of your income for savings. A great way to do this is by automating saving so that the figure is deducted once it hits your account. Having a clear understanding of where your money goes is one of the most important steps to building wealth. So in summary, 1. Never live beyond your means. 2. Have enough saved up to pay bills. 3. Cut out impulse purchases completely. 4. Invest in what you know. 5. Use public transportation and ride-sharing services. 6. Invest wisely. 7. Get a job you love. 8. Ask for help. 9. Invest long term. And finally, 10. And know where your money goes. That's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you are still here, you definitely enjoyed the video. Make sure to watch our other awesome videos. And in the meantime, give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Just so you don't miss out on any of our videos, tap the bell notification icon. And as always, have a great day.